Blossom from Maple Ridge, Canada. My wife read an article that says bathing too much dries out your skin. Now she only bathes once a week on Fridays. Is this a good idea? I never heard of such a thing. She's only going to bathe on Friday. Well, I mean, there's plenty of water. There's no scarcity of water. That to me is just a poor excuse. For being nasty. Hi, my name's Molly Bradley, and I'm from Simi Valley, California. When I was a kid and my dog Pepper died, my parents said he went to dog heaven. Is there really such thing as a dog heaven? <laughs> oh, you know, honestly. You know, you are grown first. You sitting over there asking me a damn question like that. Now, you know them well. I mean, what, what, what are you talking about? Is it a dog heaven? When a dog dies, a dog dies. So. I'm Ben Weiss from San Diego, California. Do you have any tips to help me manage my wife's mother? She's really getting on my nerves. In all the history of the world, the mother-in-law has always interfered with a son's or a daughter's marriage. You can put a bag over her head, you can do anything to her. She can lock her in the room, but she can get you in the wall or somewhere. My name is Mike Stevie from Cleveland, Ohio. I don't have a lot of experience with girls. Is there any way I could practice kissing by myself? I don't know. Walk up to a mirror. Kiss a mirror a couple of times. If you're that stupid, you can't find a girl that will allow you to kiss her then it's just too bad. I don't know. Go kiss the ass or no kiss Hi, I'm Cindy in the box from San Diego. My boyfriend is scared to death of getting on a roller coaster. What the hell is wrong with him? There's not a damn thing wrong with him because I, I wouldn't get on one myself. I'm scared to death of him. No, there's nothing wrong with him. I don't blame him. I wouldn't get on one either. Hi, I'm Maya Gabresi from Burbank, California. My boyfriend and I have been together for nine years. Do you think if I were to get pregnant, he might pop the question? Well, aren't you the <laughs> damn spook? <laughs> you know what? Sure, you can go ahead and get pregnant, and that guy's going to walk off and leave you <laughs> with a baby. That's what's going to happen, and you deserve it. I'm James Martel from White Rock, Canada. I'm about to be remarried, and my friends are throwing me a bachelor party at a strip club. I'm really close to my 15-year-old son and want to include him. Do you think that's too young? Oh, my God. What is wrong with you? Are you completely an idiot? You don't deserve a child. You know that. Hi, I'm Kelly Zimmer from Frisco, Texas. I think my husband might be having an affair with a friend of mine. How should I confront her? I'd go and beat this sh** <laughs> Hi, this is Tara Stella from New Freedom, Pennsylvania. I read somewhere that the average girl loses her virginity at the age of 17. Do you think that that's true? Well, I would say in the Deep South, it's a lot younger than that. Because people in the South, uh, warm-blooded children uh, going into sex much earlier than they did when I was a young girl. I mean, my God, if we had had sex when I was coming up, my parents would have, I think they would have put me in an institution.